so once again you are all welcome in this new episode of this uh, video about the mcqs in the for the chapter of biochemistry so this is the episode number 6 where we are trying to understand the question and, uh, and the answers how the answer who we uh, evolve the answer appropriate answer from the uh, multiple choices so here the question number 34 asking you about the isoenzymes or isozymes are separated by the techniques that is the chromatography electrophoresis salting out or endpoint method so now the friends the endpoint method is not a um, method itself it is a measuring technique so uh, uh, just isolate this uh, term that the endpoint method is uh, not is applicable here uh, we are we should discuss about the endpoint method in the last question so now the isogynes or isoenzymes are uh, that things that the iso stands for same so same like as the original enzyme this is the isogyne or isoenzyme but it is differed by its amino acid sequence because it is a protein body so it is just the amino acid sequence by it differs and also but the, both are uh, performing the same reaction uh, catalyzes the same reaction and uh, display uh, also display different kinetic parameters because the enzymes reaction in a kinetic uh, uh, test method so uh, kinetic method where it uh, differs by the values like the km or vx vmax value and it has also different regulatory properties its function is to uh, fine tuning of our the metabolic uh, system so like the LDH has uh, five uh, uh, isoenzymes and uh, which is uh, performing uh, like the anaerobic glucose metabolism and uh, also the glucose synthesis it, uh, functioning like us. So now the two main methods of separation of isoenzyme is, are sorry, the electrophoresis and ion exchange chromatography method. So now the A and C option is the most uh, applicable for this answer. So just out the option B and D. So now about the A and C option, but the electrophoresis or ion exchange chromatography both are depend primarily on the uh, buffer solution which are using that uh, the, the nature of the buffer solution and the exchange of the resultant charges. Now in the analytical labs, main uh, the uh, method uh, applicable is that the microelectrophoretic method, whereas uh, for a, in a preparative scale, where uh, for the industrial purpose we are uh, mainly using chromatographic method, whereas a clinical biochemistry lab, uh, lab who, who we are concerned about that the clinical biochemistry lab mostly uses paper electrophoresis method or HPLC that is the high performance liquid chromatography but now the also there is a confusion about which one is the right answer A or C but about the A, A, C option which is more documented that is the electrophoresis so the right option is the C option is the right option now question, question number 35 asking you about the auto analyzer which is not a true statement that is the what is the uh, false statement is depict here the a option is asking you about the sample cups can hold patient sample control material many times uh, we are doing such a, in such a way when the uh, we using a common sample cups where we uh, pour the sample patient sample as well as in the different cup we pour the control material so the a statement is the uh, uh, true about the auto -nizer. it is not a false statement now the b uh, statement is that the sample collection tube is identified by barcode so uh, many times uh, instead of using a separate sample cup we are directly using the uh, sample tube bearing with the barcode we directly run the tube in the auto -nizer. so uh, now the b statement is also correct here is that is a true statement 
so no manual intervention is needed is it is obviously it is autonomous so the no manual intervention is needed here so uh, c option is also uh, uh, true statement and the last statement which is uh, asking you that the control and calibrator is done with same material now the what is a calibrator by which we are doing the calibration of a, uh, a particular parameter or many parameters at a time so calibrator uh, the uh, when you purchase a kit from a, from the marketplace you uh, you can uh, get a standard is over here in the inside the kit the standard is nothing but the analyte we are which you are going to want to estimate like the say if you purchase a glucose kit so the analyte is the glucose and the glucose is dissolved in a uh, particular uh, uh, weight in a solvent or in a distilled water simply so this this standard is not always a calibrator or never a control because this uh, uh, this type of standard is not uh, along with the other things like in our the serum in our serum the uh, apart from the particular analyte in our serum there is there are many things like proteins uh, lipids peptides hormones vitamins so uh, like in a human sera cal calibrator or uh, along with the presence of the other things how the analyte is reacting with the uh, reagent so we are preparing a human sera calibrator for this purpose for the purpose of calibration and it is method specific when you purchase a uh, like that a calibrator which is generally a multi parameter calibrator so by which uh, by that thing you can calibrate many parameters at a time so this uh, type of uh, uh, calibrator is bearing a list with the uh, along with the calibrator which list is uh, depict that the method specific value is there method specific if you are if you are going to calibrate glucose there is there should be uh, at least two values for the GOD POD value it may be uh, 210 and for the hexokinase value it may be 220 so this type of because this uh, should be at the method specific value and there that value should be true or definite value not a value range only a specific value like for the exokinase you are getting the 220 milligram per deciliter whereas for the GODPOD you are getting 210 milligram per deciliter so human uh, sera calibrator is method specific and has a true and definite value whereas a uh, uh, control that is the human sera control obviously we are we are using human sera control of different level level one level two level three like that which is not method which is method non-specific uh, uh, that means that the for glucose there is a value range only for the different method hexokinase or um, orthotoluidin or uh, like that geodpt no different value is there so the, the method non-specific value is there and this value is not a, a particular definite value this value is a value range or a spectrum of value like that for the glucose in, in level 2 uh, control sera it may be 180 to 220 milligram per deciliter so this is the, this type of value spectrum or value range is there will be there so now the control and calibrator is we cannot done with the same material so d option is the right option over here now the question number 36 is asking about is the which is not a cancer marker the option a is the alpha phytoprotein option b is the uh, ca125 option c is psa and option d is sdpt so about the option A that is the alpha phytoprotein which is produced in the embryonic yolk sac and in the fetal liver only. So a newborn contains more uh, high alpha phytoprotein value and gradually when the uh, newborn is going to become a children the value going lows. 
and the, uh, for an adult it is uh, uh, the preferable value is less than 2.5 nanogram per milliliter in some methods it may be vary up to 10 to 20 nanogram per milliliter so uh, now the alpha phentoprotein is uh, uh, responsible for the uh, when we are testing for alpha phentoprotein when a suspected case of germ cell or yolk sac tumor is there a liver cancer is there ovaries or testicle uh, cancer is there hodgkin disease uh, renal cell carcinoma lymphoma or non cancer uh, liver diseases so all all the parameters has a both the diagnostic and prognostic purpose is there that the prognostic purpose how the patient is responding about uh, after getting the medicine for that so alpha phytoprotein uh, many times carried with uh, triple or quadruple parameters like along with the ap that is alpha phytoprotein with estradiol hcg and inhibin a now the B option that is the CA125, CA125 is the cancer antigen 125, this type of uh, naming is like that the 15.CA, 15.3CA, 19.9CEA like uh, such uh, naming which is responsible which is done mainly for in the case of ovarian cancer, pancreatic cancer, endometrium or fallopian tube cancer or adrenocarcinoma of cervix endometrium, gastrointestinal tract uh, or breast. So again uh, the CA125 also a cancer marker. Alpha phytoprotein is also a cancer marker but the question is which is not a cancer marker. Now the PSA. The PSA is prostate specific antigen. Oh, the normal value of it uh, is the less than 4 nanogram per milliliter. The when it is values goes up to 4 to 10 nanogram per milliliter it is uh, definitely uh, about the prostatitis that is the inflammation of the prostate and more than 10 if the value goes up to more than 10 it is suspected case of prostate cancer so it is again a cancer marker so obviously the d option is the right option now the sgpt sgpt is an enzyme which enzyme is a uh, is a secondary or allied test tool only not the primary test tool and it uh, values uh, normal values is 5 to 40 units per liter and it is mainly the marker of hepatitis and cirrhosis so uh, the right option is the d option is the right option now the question uh, number 37 which is asking about the psa is estimated by the method option a is the endpoint method option b two point method option c kinetic method option d is immunoassay so now the uh, endpoint method is uh, 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 I have told you that the, we should discuss about the endpoint method in the last question. Now the endpoint method, two point method or kinetic method is not a, a unique method. These are the measuring method or methodology or measuring techniques, especially in the colorimetric reactions. Now the what is the endpoint method? Endpoint method is uh, where the uh, form a single very point where the reaction is uh, started and after sometimes the reaction is entirely finished or more than 99% finished. So the uh, so after sometimes the reaction is ended at a definite point. Like so, this method is also known as endpoint method or one point method. We are when we are measuring only one value that is the T1 value is here over here T1 value <clears throat> now in the two point method uh, the, that is also a measuring uh, methodology two point method where, where a reaction is started and the reaction is going on in this uh, process when the reaction is going on after certain period of incubation time at time one we measured it first time and after uh, uh, interval, after uh, uh, after a uh, definite interval, we measure it and time two. And with this uh, time measuring methodology, this two point method is naming like that the two point methodology, two point method or initial rate method or it is fixed time method. 
Now the kinetic method is such thing where the uh, form a uh, point where the reaction is uh, starting and the reaction is ongoing in on the ongoing process of the reaction after a definite incubation period we measure first time in the time one and after time one after we, we equal interval of times after equal interval of times we measure in time two time three time four time five like that so this type of reaction is known as the kinetic type of method or multi-point uh, measuring technique so this is uh, these are not the unique type of reactions but the immune uh, assay is the unique type of reaction because the PSA is prostate specific antigen. So there is obviously a reaction is occurring that is the antigen antibody reaction where, a, uh, where a, uh, an antigen and antibody complex will be formed and this antigen antibody uh, complex to uh, in a visible manner. Uh, we are uh, introducing many techniques uh, like that the precipitation or agglutination or flocculation like that technique neutralization so immunoassay is the right option for that where the antigen antibody is reacting with the for the estimation of PSA so my friends we will again meet uh, in our next video with many questions so thank you for today